This morning, how do I win life's race on three legs? Typically, when we think about three legs running, it tends to be two legs, or if it's an animal, four legs. Well, what about running with three legs? What do you mean by that, Bishop? Here is the text, and I'm going to give you the talk, then there's the takeaway. Psalms 133, 133 and following. It says, how good and pleasant it is for brothering, and I add women, how good and pleasant it is for us to dwell together in unity. The third verse says, there is where the Lord commands the blessing. There is where the Lord commands the blessing, where there is unity. Do you remember when you were in grade school and it was field day? And on field day, you had to run races. Uh, you had to be in a sack, if you will, wheelbarrow, somebody holding your legs. And then there was the three-legged race. You remember that race? They would tie your leg with somebody else's leg, and it was three legs trying to win a race. You had to run together. You had to run in unison in order to win that race. Okay, well, let me help you this morning. This morning, it's the same way that you run the race of life. You have to do it with three legs. Well, how do you do that, Bishop? Your leg has to be tied to God's leg. You got to be tied to God. That's the first thing that you got to do. You got to be tied to him because if you're connected to him, here's the first thing I need you to grab. Falling won't be fatal. You remember when you would be running and uh, you will trip over and fall and generally the person that won or, or the, the couple that won was the ones that didn't fall. Everybody else typically would fall trying to get to the finish line. Well, when you are tied to God, your falling won't be fatal. Proverbs 24, 17 says that, uh, a, a, what is that? A righteous man falls down seven times, but he gets back up again. He gets back up again. The second thing is this. The second thing is this, forward movement, forward movement. Amos 3 and 3 tells us the only way that you can move forward is that you walk together. How can two walk together unless they agree? When you are running a three-legged race, you got to be in agreement with the person beside you. Notice this. You got to hug that person. Y'all got to be linked together. The same thing is true when God is moving you forward. You cannot be with an unholy alliance or unholy covenant. You cannot be connected to people who are not going in the same direction that you're going in. You're going forward. So you're connected to God. And those whom you are connected with need to be connected with God because forward movement requires unison. Amos 3 and 3 tells us, how can two walk together unless they agree? The third thing is this. The third thing is this. You know, I was talking right at the beginning how you would run that three-legged race on field day and man, it would be kind of difficult and whoever won, you know, it was all kind of happiness and all. But most people didn't finish. You look behind you, all kind of folk falling because they didn't finish. Well, when you're connected with God, you finish. You finish. He says, if I started a good work in you, I'm going to see it to completion. Come on, Philippians 1. If I started a good work in you, I'm going to see it to completion. Ecclesiastes said it better in 9 and 11. It says, the race does not go to the swift nor the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. You're going to make it to the end when you're connected to God, when you're moving forward with the right people connected to them, when you all are walking together. What's your takeaway this morning? How do you win the race of life with three legs? Run in unison with the Lord and see, don't you win? Run in unison because there. There, he says, he commands the blessing. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manner. Share the manner. Don't keep it to yourself. Bye now.